Welcome back to a brand new coffee tech break with Jan. Here you go, back to initial screen, uh, both the TCA, as you see here uh, below, uh, and on the Studio X on the TV UI. Yeah? So you gotta make sure that you sign in both devices with the same account. That's very important uh, because otherwise the TCA won't be able to find uh, that, uh, that Studio X and to pair it up over uh, Teams. Okay, so let me first now sign in at the Studio X. So what we need to do is if we put in that password, which we have on the screen, uh, that makes life a lot easier for your remote uh, sign-in. All right. The next step is we need to use another account. Uh, so we use here our Android Room account and your Android Room account, uh, which we created earlier. All right. So we sign that one in. Okay. Okay, now let me look at the meeting room, if that went fine. So let me check, so it's signing in now. So first I usually do add the Studio X, signing in now to the environment. And so as I said earlier, check if you made an exception, if you're using mobile device management or Intune or any policies, if you're not being allowed, you probably need to double check that. So Studio X walking to that sign in now. All right, so Studio X is signed in now. That is the, the first one. And now let me sign in the TC8. All right, so we put in the code of the TC8. Okay, now again, make sure you use that same account on the TC8. And let us go back to that meeting room. So we are back now in the meeting room and assigning in the TC8. We'll walk through the same process. Also, again, if you got that Intune stuff, you could probably see that, that it's running all through here, or if it's blocked somewhere, you should be able to see that. I will always recommend it to check and the device management, the login, the signing login, and if you're not uh, going through this process. Okay, signing in. This is uh, Teams. Pairing. So I'll click now on the pairing button. As you can see, it will provide me with that pin. And I click on pair. Here you go. And now the controls will move from the big screen and will move now to the TC8, as you see right here. All right. Now, what about the menu? And as I showed you earlier, as a user, you could do anything. And so we're now back here at the TC8. Let's go and uh, click on more. We click on uh, settings and here you go. We only have a couple of settings available now. No more wallpaper, no more sign out, no more uh, separate settings. It's all hidden behind the password now. So we only have report an issue. If you wanna make a note of something or you run into something uh, and you got the about. That could be useful as a remote uh, user. You want to uh, pass through some information. Now, if I click on device settings, you will move to the second screen, but again, very limited. You got debug option, accessibility. Uh, so here you could change and make the text a bit bigger and it makes sense for, uh, for an end user. You got the about. And if I click on admin now, it's protected as you can see. So it's, you cannot just walk uh, through and change wallpapers or anything else in the device. It's all protected now. So I can log in here. Now we click OK. And now what you will see is all those settings which I showed you earlier. And again, you see that right here below. You see the uh, admin sign out, you see the user sign out, but also Teams Admin Center. And see, is you will find that information now all protected here behind the password. So this was previously at the user end. And as you can see, it's now behind the password. And so those calling settings where you got all those uh, transfer settings, you got meeting settings here. And so show meeting names, for example, in the executive room, if you don't want to show meeting names, but just show the names, and it is a possibility. Here you got some beaconing settings there, for example, with the Teams casting, and you can uh, turn it off if you don't want that. Uh, we got wallpapers here. It's all hidden now behind the password. And so here you can change uh, the wallpapers to console, pairing and also the team sign out uh, it's all hidden so as a user you cannot 
uh, just go in here and change uh, that uh, that stuff. And so if I click now on the admin sign out, it means it will go back uh, to the portal as a user. Here you go. So now I'm behind the password again. As you can see, so I click on settings. You see that the admin is now signed out. Uh, so I'm back to this very limited menu. Now, further, what is interesting here is you always have those controls here on the side. And so in this side menu, let me show you that on the TC8, you got always those controls available as a user. And so the home, let's go back to the home screen. The device mode is where you can reuse camera, speaker, and mic. And reuse that with your laptop. So if you run, for example, WebEx or Zoom or any other platform in combination with your laptop, you just hook up the USB cable hook up the HDMI cable app, and I uh, created some videos of that and I will put a link there so you're able to find that uh, uh, so you're able to find that very quickly this is always available you could turn this also off eh? but this is something which needs to be done in the Studio X uh, web UI if you don't want to use this device mode uh, functionality now on the other end what is available and eh? we got their environment Environment means you can hook it up to, a, for example, an extra environment and control the lightning or the shades or everything in the room. We got another option and it is camera control. Here you can set presets, you can turn speaker track on and off, etc. And the last item we find here is settings. I think anytime eh, we need to provide something for support or you got an engineer eh, who, uh, who finds something and need to, uh, uh, yeah, throw back the version information etc that is always available at your access from those devices so that uh, that makes sense now here ends the coffee tech break for today